Hey guys, welcome to the Go Headquarters podcast. I am Brandon Rahi and with me today, Mark Bailey Jr. Thank you for having me again. Dude. Surprised you wanted to have me back after I shut my mic off in the middle of our last podcast. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't know that our viewers knew you shut your mic off. Maybe they could tell. We were freaking out. We're we like, were freaking out. Come on, Mark. How could you do that? So I have I have the little uh, dongle like way back here, so I'm not tempted to kick it. Technical difficulties on the regular here. Um, awesome. So last time we talked about kind of family cohesion and how you were handling everything. Yeah, life adjustments to having little Hudson back there. Yeah. And uh, things this, are still changing. Sure, still shifting. <laughs> we're going with it. Cool. I held Hudson during today's pretty much entire Metcon. Thank you. Which is awesome. It's a nice Got a little bicep offer pump. Babysitting here now. Yeah, we <laughs> offer free <laughs> complimentary baby holding. Uh, emotional therapy for your babies when they're having a meltdown <laughs> during your workout. I had no idea that was going to be a service when I started Go Headquarters, <laughs> but it is. All right, so you're here for a totally separate reason today. Yep. Mark came to me a little while ago. He knows that I love data. Um, I don't know what this is on the on the heels of, if anything. Um, but long story short, Mark has a little project that he's come up with for himself, and we want to get into that today. So. Tell us a little bit about what the heck it is you're doing. Um, yeah, so I am about to embark on a 30-day no alcohol journey. And, <laughs> and, and the reason is that um, I was thinking the other day that I can't remember back to a time where I actually went without alcohol for 30 straight days. Like I, I've gone for periods of time, whether it's like, you know, 25 days or I tried to do whole 30 and that involves no alcohol and yep. I, I didn't make it the, the full 30 days. Um, so, so I really want to, um, to do that, to take 30 days without that alcohol in my life and see what happens and, and um, also treat it as like a science experiment. So um, I'm, I'm going to do blood tests. I'm, I'm going to take my body fat, I'm going to take my weight, I'm, I'm going to keep a journal to see how my, my energy levels are and my workouts are going. So instead of just treating it like it's like a diet thing, oh, I want to lose some weight, I want to look good this summer, I want to see what's actually going on inside my body and outside of it. And so um, okay. the blood tests are going to help that and so there's going to be some, some cool stuff that we're doing behind the scenes to track all this stuff. Yeah, and that's, that's the part that I personally love is data. And I love that your idea is to only change one component, which is just alcohol. Uh, you're not changing how you exercise, how you eat, um, other habits. It's just, hey, if I only eliminate alcohol, changing that one thing, what happens? What's the result? Yeah. Um, so we did similar stuff with that, people doing the juice fasts, and we kind of posted some results there. Which was incredible. I, I could not believe how good they looked after doing that juice fast. Yeah, yeah. So we had like the guys, James and James, do like, you know, for weight loss purposes, but of course we know their blood profiles would have changed dramatically. Absolutely. Uh, we had a mini post on Terry doing the same thing for only 16 days with just the blood profile emphasis. So it's been incredible to see. So now I'm excited to see someone in-house doing it with alcohol, which is awesome. We've read these reports, we've read studies done with other people that you don't know. That always seems a little detached, right? Because it's not someone you know, so you can't relate. You don't, you maybe don't see their progress or feel their progress as much as when it's someone that, that you, you see and talk to every day. So I'm excited for this one. Um, I'm always sharing, you know, links to articles about this sort of stuff with people. And uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to soak in as well. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'll be completely honest too about like where I've been up to this point. Um, it's not like I'm binging every night and, and getting drunk to the point where I, you know, I'm like stumbling all over the house and can't talk. But it's, it's, it's just been the consistent like every night I'll go home, have um, for a while I was having like a, like a little glass of tequila and club soda or uh, I'll do like a glass or two of wine. And it, it's just, it's always been kind of more of like a habit of, of what I do when I get home after a stressful day. And like of course every day ends up being stressful. You know, right. What day is not stressful in some way. And so I just want to like cut out that habit. I don't want to have that as a, as a crutch anymore. So I definitely have been drinking enough to, I think, see some substantial results with my blood profile, my weight. Um, so you think you've been drinking frequently enough? Yeah, consistent enough. It's consistent not like frequently enough to right now that that's probably registering in your blood work, maybe. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it, it has to have some effect on your body. It's, it's essentially a poison that's going in your body, and that's why you have that reaction where you kind of feel good from it after a certain amount. After, sure. after two or three, you're not feeling so hot. But um, yeah, so there's got to be something going on. So that's what I'm interested to see in, in the blood profile. Like, what, what changes do I see, if any, that that are directly related to that because as you said i'm not going to change anything else i'm going to eat the same way i've been eating um i don't eat like perfect you know i'm not whole 30 every single day but generally monday through friday i'm eating as good as i i can i eat um, uh, primarily fat i eat as many vegetables as i can i always in every meal try to get greens and veggies in um and i try to stay relatively low carb as far as like bread goes you know i'll eat sweet potatoes and um whole food but uh okay what about i mean as far as empirical data right now just by the feel of it you know do you feel that what you've been doing is affecting your sleep like is that something you notice right now before we embark on this journey do you do you feel like what are your expectations i guess is what i'm getting at in regards to maybe sleep or fatigue things like that yeah i think i'll definitely feel better like fresher first thing in the morning I mean because I haven't uh, I've been doing this for so long that like this is my norm right. so so what how am I gonna f- I don't know how I'm gonna feel I don't know what to expect so I could feel like a million bucks um, I, it's got to be affecting my sleep I've read studies and stories that talk about how yep. you would think that you'd sleep better because you're taking in something that relaxes you and calms you down. Right, that depressant quality. Yeah, yeah, but you, what I've read is that you never really get into a a deep REM sleep. You're always just kind of like waking up throughout the night even if you don't realize it. So I can guarantee that my energy level is gonna increase and I think with that is gonna come better workouts, better productivity, probably more creativity, which is all stuff that I I wanna have. And so it's like, um, I, I can tell you what I think is going to happen is I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to just change my outlook on how, how I treat alcohol in my life. I don't want it to be something that I use as like a crutch to calm myself down or relax. Um, I want to realize that there are, there, there can be benefits to like wine. They talk about like the, um, uh, antioxidants and of course you never sure. can drink enough to really get <laughs> I that need more antioxidants where's the <laughs> wine so I'm going to drink wine? this full bottle right now um, but this is for my health I hear that all the time I want to get to the point where I s- clearly see the benefits of not doing it because I'm the type of person where if I see those benefits and I feel them I'm, I will not go back to that because I want what's best for my body. I sure. just have not given my body the chance to show me that that's yeah. the best thing. Because you've played with intermittent fasting. Yeah, absolutely. Right, where 24, 36 hours, nothing but water, and so obviously alcohol included there. Yep. Um, and I feel like, you know, we've talked about that a lot when you do it, and you know, you've had some really good fasting experiences um, where you feel better and you realize all the little habits that, that are there, including the evening glass of wine or whatever it might be. So yeah. this will be a more extended version of that just on the alcohol. So how do we test this? You said you're doing blood work, you're doing body fat, you're gonna weigh in. Are we just doing these things at day one and day 30? What's your plan? So I've, I've got my, my dates here on the phone. So I, I did a blood test just the other day on uh, Friday, May 6th. And you drank the night before? No. No, no, no. So um, I did not drink the night before because I drank the night before that because I wanted it to be consistent up to that point. Um, but I didn't want it to directly impact the, the blood results. because I, gotcha. So I've taken Wellness FX, we'll explain that. Wellness FX is a service where you can pay for um, a speci- specific level of test and they will, uh, you go to a lab, they give you like a lab form and, and you get a blood draw and then they put your biomarkers and results on like a, a website and a portal where you can track your results over time. So I've got results from May of 2013. And so every time I've done a blood test, I've done it that way. Like I've never right. had alcohol the night before. And so you it'll can be accurate through, in that way. Through Wellness FX, you can pick different levels of what biomarkers you're looking for. So when you go to a typical you know, physician, they're maybe just gonna look at some of the really basic stuff. Triglycerides, LDLs, HDLs, 
you know, so on and so forth. Just a very basic profile. With Wellness FX, you can get a much deeper look into what's happening within your body. Um, so Mark, in the past, has opted in for certain levels, and you're probably doing the same, right? Yeah, I'm like in the. Um I'm like in the mid tier, so there's yeah, the, the lowest I think is one, like in the 100s, high 100s. This is like in the, the three, because yeah. I never go to the doctor and I've got an HSA, so I might as well sure. use it. And, and like what, what you're saying when you get that profile of the doctor, which is great to do that, uh, but you don't always get to see the full results that the doctor gets to see. So I'm kind of a nerd where I like to see all everything that's going on in my body and be able to, to yeah. track it myself. And then if I need to go see somebody and ask, you can... Uh, you can do that. Yeah, you can always consult a physician afterwards based on what, what it is that you're seeing. Um, but the breakdown is really, really beautifully done. I mean, there's graphs and percentages and ratios and all this stuff that, and there's an ex explanation of each kind of biomarker that is being tested. So I'd, I would recommend Wellness FX to, to anyone as far as, uh, you know, looking further into your own health. And if you want to ask me questions about it, I know enough about it where I can yeah. help you out. Um, so, so uh, I did that on May 6th and then I'm going to start the 30 days on May 9th, um, so a couple of days after that. And then I'm going to go the full 30 days and uh, keep my journals and so over, the, over this weekend, which I know that's, you could watch this, and I, I know the dates mean nothing to you, uh, but I'm going to take uh, uh, body fat measurements, weight, um, so that we have those markers down and then June 8th is when I'm going to wrap this up and so I'm going to take that blood test on June 8th and then the weight and body fat and and then party hard that night because <laughs> my birthday is June 10th so most likely I might be having a little bit of fun this is a strategic window of opportunity here folks yes it, I, so it, we're cashing in it felt like the perfect time cool okay <laughs> but thank you for letting me share this and and um, yeah I'm, I'm just excited to to do this and I want the people out there to help keep me accountable because um, it won't be difficult but I think there will be times where I'll want to go back to doing what I always did and just uh, just help sure. push me and that's what habits are man I mean it's just mindless tasks yeah. in a certain designated routine or at a certain time of the day that you just have these go-to tasks that you execute. It's the, same, it's the same with eating or you know whatever. We just have these all sorts of routines and it takes something like this to either recognize them or break them or both. Yep. So curious to see. Um, and what we're gonna do, this is clearly part one, right? This is kind of the before. We wanted to, to film this and kind of talk about this while this is fresh, before he goes on restriction. And we're gonna do a follow-up. So we're kind of waiting on all of that data to be gathered, and we're gonna analyze that data at the end of it and kind of see what happened. So, Mark, good luck on your journey, man. I'm curious to see how you feel, how you do. I'm Thank you. big on the data, so regardless of how you feel, I wanna see the numbers <laughs> myself, coming from an exercise science background. And uh, thanks for sharing this with our audience, man. You, this is awesome. Do you wanna do the next one when I get the, the results back? We can review the yeah. initial yeah. wellness FX. Yeah, group? so what I'd like, what my game plan is anyway, and we can change this, but is let's get, once you've done the 30 days and we have that after data, We'll look at the before after data maybe, and we'll just kind of talk about that using like a whiteboard or a really high level graphics um, for the next podcast for like the part two follow up, cool. something like that. Okay. And we'll see how it looks. Awesome. Whatever. We'll Thank come up you. With a, we'll come up with a game plan. I appreciate it, man. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming today and good luck on your journey. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya.